Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, well, anyway, <clears throat> today I've decided to make a bit of a start on trying to do some minor modifications to um, the our new camper trailer. Um, I've decided to install the DC to DC charger. Um, it's a Victron Orion TR Smart Unit. Um, up in the back here, I didn't want to have it in the same compartment as uh, where the battery was for. Um, I guess obvious reason because of um, you know the gases that batteries actually emit while they're being charged to avoid you know any accidents with sparks and all that sort of stuff. As you can see, there's not really a lot of storage in here. Uh, certainly not enough uh, to put a uh, a bank of batteries. Uh, so a single hundred um, amp AGM is going to have to do the job. <coughs> So I did get the um, DC-DC charger um, <coughs> installed, um, finished it yesterday afternoon, it's all connected, I tested it, um, it's actually paired with, um, with Bluetooth as well, so that's really good, you can see what's happening in it, uh, but I've decided to actually put a, uh, an Anderson plug on this, so I can disconnect it, so I can actually connect my uh, um, sort of transportable um, solar uh, panel. Uh, which has a controller in it anyway and just connected to the battery with uh, alligator clips so that's the new AGM battery uh, I have disconnected it for the moment to um, <clears throat> so I can uh, um, connect the uh, the new Anderson plug soldered connections bit of heat shrink doesn't not going to go anywhere Well, first time didn't go so well, so I'm going to try it a slightly different way. Okay, it fits. Let's do this again. So that's just to <clears throat> make sure that um, they've both melted together, not just um, what I put inside it. Okay, <clears throat> they've sufficiently cooled down, put a bit of heat shrink around it. Now, I'll just grab my favourite. Tool. Don't put it on too hot. Just needs a bit, that's all. Done. So now it's just a matter of making sure that positive goes to red. 
negative goes to black easy to switch around and then we just got to push them in which is not always terribly easy to do so once you've got them in make sure you push it till you hear that click that's how they stay I'm not a qualified oil or electrician or anything like that but I have learnt <clears throat> over the years of playing around with 12 volt stuff um, that um, it's generally a logical process uh, certainly look at the book of words you know instructions are valuable from other people um, whenever you buy something um, and um, ensure that your connections are are good that means you've got to use soldered connections uh, use heat shrink uh, to protect it from elements uh, um, as well as from um, you know uh, inadvertent uh, uh, grounding out against something and creating sparks that's something you don't want to do um, all right well look um, I'm happy with that so I can isolate all of this from the rest and that is uh, very important to me particularly if I want to attach a, uh, a, solar, a foldable solar panel kit that's already got a controller in it because it does not uh, need to be controlled by uh, this thing here okay it's secure new AGM battery 105 amp um, I've tidied up uh, some of the wiring here and uh, I've ensured them that all the connections are well insulated um, yeah I'm happy with this so now all we've got to do is start looking for a fridge <laughs>